Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is a ministry of Scripture verse by verse. It is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. I'm not a Bible answer man. I've said that in the past, but I will tell you what I think and what I believe the Bible teaches. If you send me your questions, please keep them Bible related. I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast where you can send your questions. A question today from a listener. Are the gifts of miracles for today? Well, if you are asking, does God still do miracles? Then the answer is yes. Many of us have witnessed amazing miracles in answer to prayer. And also, God is God. And as God, he can give anyone any gift that he wants them to have at any time in their life. In fact, 1 Corinthians twelve seven says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit. In verse 11, it says that the Holy Spirit divides spiritual gifts to every man severally as he wills. But if you study the Bible you will see that the majority of miracles were performed by the apostles in the early church to prove their apostolic authority. The Apostle Paul wrote, The things that mark an apostle, signs, wonders, and miracles, were done among you. Apostles spoke with the authority of Jesus Christ, so it was important for them to back up their words with the same power that Jesus showed when he was here, and they did. Miracles were also frequently done in addition to proving apostolic authority. They were done in the beginning of the church age. You'll find it in the book of Acts to confirm the message of salvation through Christ. The apostles proved that the resurrection of Jesus was real and that the message of forgiveness only through Jesus Christ was real by doing miracles in the name of Jesus. And in the book of Acts, if you read it, which is what I am studying through right now and teaching right now, the apostles healed everyone who came to them, just as Jesus did. And it's obvious that the so-called faith healers of today are not doing that. In fact, when asked to produce absolute proof of even one healing, one of the most popular faith healers today could not do it. And that would not have been a problem with the apostles. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he can, and he still does do miracles. But there are no apostles of our Lord today because no one meets the qualifications laid out in the Bible. And in my 39 years of being a Christian, I have never seen anything but frauds who claim to be faith healers. And I've spent a lot of time in Pentecostal churches. And I'm not saying that the Bible says those gifts have passed away, because it doesn't say that. But given the fact that later in his life, the Apostle Paul left more than one of his friends sick, suggests that those gifts began to wane after the gospel was confirmed. Now, at some point, miracles may kick back into gear again. But if and when that happens, if it is of God, the healers will not be like the faith healers of today, pulling stunts, putting people in wheelchairs who don't even need one, bringing them out on stage and telling them to rise and walk as if they could not do it before. The true gift will operate in unselfish servants of Christ like the apostles who did not use their gift to get rich, nor will their so-called miracles be advertised as a way to get a crowd of people. The word of God will be front and center as it was with Jesus and the apostles. If you have a question for me, send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.